Damas y caballeros, buenas tardes y bienvenidos a Guadalajara, Jalisco, México, para pasaje oficial para Gran Noche de Boxeo, les eso viernes en la noche. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon and welcome to the beautiful city of Jalisco, Mexico, here, Guadalajara, for the official weigh-in for our big night of boxing taking place here on Friday night. Now, it's all being brought to you courtesy of Mr. Eddie Hearn of Matchroom Boxing in association with Canelo Promotions y Clase y Talento. We're sponsored by Bet Online, Stagefront, and JD Sports. And ladies and gentlemen, before we begin, we want to give a big shout out and thank you to the Secretary of State here from Guadalajara, Senor Fernando Ortega. Gracias, the Secretaria de Deporte, Fernando Ortega en la frente. Damas y caballeros, aplauso por favor. Muchísimas gracias. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, all the action, of course, will go out live around the world exclusively on DAZN, and it's a great fight card with 11 fights. We've got three title fights and two world title fights, and at the top of the bill, we're going to consolidate at 108, the WBA regular champion, WBA super champion. It's Kiaguchi and Bermudez. It's a great card. So without further ado, let's go ahead and bring the fighters to the stage so they can face the scale and face each other. Our first contest, four rounds in the lightweight division. And now making his way to the stage, his professional record, one win, one defeat. He fights out of Naucalpan, Estado de Mexico, Mexico. Please welcome Eduardo Diablito Torres. Torres. And his opponent now making his way to the stage, his young professional record thus far perfect, two fights, two victories, one of them coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of Brooklyn, New York, here is Harley Dennis the Menace Maderos. Maderos. Now to the scale, ladies and gentlemen, Eduardo Torres. 138 even for Torres, 138 even, 138 pounds. And now to the scale, ladies and gentlemen, Harley, Dennis the Menace Maderas. 137, 137 pounds for Harley Maderas, 137. Maderos Torres, four rounds lightweights, Guadalajara, Mexico, Matchroom Boxing, Canelo Promotions, Clase y Talento, live on the zone. Damas y caballeros, a siguiente combate de la noche. Our next fight, six rounds in the super lightweight division. Now making his way to the stage, his professional record. Two wins, one defeat. Both of his wins coming by way of knockout. He fights out of Ensenada, Baja California. Please welcome Leo. Leon Martinez. Martinez. And his opponent now making his way to the stage. His professional record, a perfect one. Five fights. Five victories, two of them coming by way of knockout. He fights out of Hialeah Gardens, Florida. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the Alien King, Aaron Aponte. Aponte. Now to the scale, ladies and gentlemen. Martinez, Leo Leon Martinez. One thirty-eight point nine for Martinez. One hundred and thirty-eight point nine pounds for Leo. Leon Martinez. And now to the scale, the undefeated Alien King. Please welcome Aaron Aponte. One thirty-nine point five for Aponte. One thirty-nine point five for the Alien King.
Aponte versus Martinez, six round super lightweights, Guadalajara, Mexico, live on the zone. Ladies and gentlemen, the action continues here at the way in our next contest, six rounds in the bantamweight division. Now making his way to the stage, five wins, two defeats, four wins coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of Ensenada, Baja, California, please welcome Kenan Tornado Valenzuela. Valenzuela. And his opponent now making his way to the stage, his young professional record thus far perfect, two fights, two victories, both of them coming by way of knockout. He fights out of Fresno, California. Please welcome Anthony Superman Herrera. Herrera. Now to the scale, ladies and gentlemen, Kenan Venezuela. One hundred and eighteen pounds, the bantamweight limit for Kenan Tornado Valenzuela. One hundred and eighteen pounds. Now to the scale, Superman Anthony Herrera. Also one hundred and eighteen pounds, the bantamweight limit for Anthony Superman Herrera. Herrera, Valenzuela, six rounds, Bantamweights, Guadalajara, Mexico, Matchroom Boxing, in association with Canelo Promotions, y Clase y Talento. Damas y caballeros, el siguiente combate de la noche para mañana noche. Six rounds in the flyweight division. And now making his way to the stage. Ten wins, one defeat, three draws with six wins coming by way of knockout. He fights out of right here in Guadalajara. Please welcome Jorge Pajarito Ignacio Villalobos. Ignacio Villalobos. And his opponent now making his way to the stage. His professional record, nine wins, three defeats. He has two wins coming by way of knockout. Also fighting out of Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico. Here is Fabian Mini Money Gonzalez. Gonzalez. Now to the scale, Pajarito. One seventeen point three, one hundred and seventeen point three pounds for Jorge Pajarito Ignacio Villalobos. One seventeen point three.
And now to the scale, Mini Money, Fabian Gonzalez. One sixteen point eight, one hundred and sixteen point eight pounds for mini money, Fabian Gonzalez. Gonzalez Villalobos, six rounds flyweights, Guadalajara, Mexico, live on the zone, matchroom boxing, Clase e Talento, Canelo Promotions. Thomas and Caballeros, our next contest, six rounds in the featherweight division. Both fighters are undefeated. It is a Nixon nil contest. Now making his way to the stage, he is undefeated in his campaign as a professional with a record of six wins, no losses. He has two draws and five of his six wins coming by way of knockout. Presentando de Zapopan, Mexico, Angel J.G. Garcia. Garcia. And his opponent now making his way to the stage. He is also undefeated in his career as a professional with a record of nine wins, no losses, one draw, with six wins coming by way of knockout. Presentando de Guadalajara, Jalisco, Alexis Picuro Jr. Molina. Molina. Now to the scale, ladies and gentlemen, Angel J.G. Garcia. One twenty-seven point nine, one twenty-seven point nine for Garcia. Now to the scale, ladies and gentlemen, Alexis Molina. One twenty seven point four for Picudo Junior, one twenty seven point four. Six rounds, featherweights Molina versus Garcia. Guadalajara, Mexico, live on the zone. Matchroom boxing in association with Canelo Promotions. Y clase y talento. Ladies and gentlemen, our next contest, four rounds in the bantamweight division. Now making his way to the stage, his professional record, one win versus one defeat. He fights out of Victoria de Durango, Daniel Nunez Gomez. Gomez. And his opponent now making his way to the stage for the first time as a professional. As Friday night, he'll be making his professional debut. He fights out of San Antonio, Texas. Please welcome Jesus Panterita Martinez. Martinez. Now to the scale, ladies and gentlemen, Daniel Nunez Gomez. 
118, bang on. That's the Bantamweight limit, 118 pounds for Nunez Gomez. And now to the scale for the first time as a professional. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise. Jesus Panterita Martinez. Also 118, the Bantamweight limit. He also scaled at the Bantamweight limit of 118 pounds for Pantarita Jesus Martinez. Martinez v. Gomez, four rounds, Bantamweights, Guadalajara, Mexico, Matchroom Boxing in association with Canelo Promotions, E Clase E Talento, live on the zone. Ladies and gentlemen, the next contest, 10 rounds in the super middleweight division. Now making his way to the stage, his professional record, 10 wins, 2 defeats. He has 7 wins coming by way of knockout. He fights out of Mexicali, Baja California, Mexico. Please welcome Raul El Principe Ortega. Ortega. And his opponent now making his way to the stage. His professional record, absolutely perfect. 14 fights, 14 victories, 11 of them coming by way of knockout. He fights out of South Central Los Angeles, California, USA. Here is the hard-hitting Diego Pacheco. Pacheco. Now to the scale, ladies and gentlemen, El Principe, Raul Ortega. One sixty-eight, bang on. That's the super middleweight limit for the man from Mexicali, Raul Ortega, El Principe. One sixty-eight. Now to the scale, ladies and gentlemen, the undefeated Diego Pacheco. 168.4 for Diego Pacheco, 168.4 for the undefeated super middleweight. Pacheco v. Ortega, 10 round super middleweights, Guadalajara, Mexico, matchroom boxing in association with Canelo Promotions, E Clase and Talento. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time to weigh in the first of our world title bouts taking place here on Friday night as Mr. Eddie Hearn of Matchroom Boxing in association with Canelo Promotions, E Clase and Talento are proud to present 10 rounds of boxing for the WBA Super Bantamweight Championship of the World. And now introducing up first to the stage, please welcome the challenger. Her professional record, 17 wins, six defeats, one draw with three wins coming by way of knockout. 
Friday night she'll be making her second attempt at a world title. Presentando de Ciudad Juarez, Chihuahua, Mexico. Please welcome Karina La Bella Fernandez. Fernandez. And her opponent now making her way to the stage. She is the defending world champion. Her professional record, 16 wins, up four defeats, two draws, with 10 wins coming by way of knockout. Here is the two-division world champion fighting out of Maracaibo, Venezuela. Here is the reigning and defending WBA Super Bantamweight champion of the world, Mayolin Lamonita Rivas. Rivas. Now to the scale, ladies and gentlemen, the challenger, Karina La Bella Fernandez. 121.9, 121.9 for Fernandez, the challenger. And now to the scale, the defending world champion, Mayalin La Monita Rivas. Also 121.9, 121.9 for the defending world champion. Rivas V. Fernandez, 10 rounds for the WBA Super Bantamweight Championship of the World. Guadalajara, Mexico, Matchroom Boxing in association with Canelo Promotions y Clase y Talento, live on the zone. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time to weigh in the co-main event of the evening. Ten rounds of boxing scheduled for the WBC International Silver Super Featherweight Championship. Now making his way to the stage, please welcome the challenger. His professional record, an excellent one. 31 victories, only one defeat. He has 28 big wins coming by way of knockout. Presentando de Ciudad de México, Distrito Federal. Please welcome the former WBC Youth World Super Featherweight Champion, Eduardo Rocky Hernandez. Hernandez. And his opponent now making his way to the stage. He is the defending titleist. His professional record, also an excellent one. 15 victories, only one defeat. He has 11 big wins coming by way of knockout. He fights out of Laredo, Texas, USA. Here is the reigning and defending WBC International Silver Super Featherweight Champion, Jorge Castaneda. Castaneda. And now to the scale, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the challenger, Eduardo Rocky Hernandez. One twenty-nine point nine from the man from DF. One twenty-nine point nine for Rocky Hernandez. And now the defending titleist to the scale, Jorge Castaneda. He also scales 129.9, exactly the same 129.9 pounds for Jorge Castaneda.
Castaneda versus Hernandez. 10 rounds for the WBC International Silver Super Featherweight Championship, live from Guadalajara, Mexico, on the zone. Damas y caballeros, buenas tardes y bienvenidos a Guadalajara, Jalisco, México. El pasaje oficial del gran evento es el viernes de la noche. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon and welcome to Guadalajara, Mexico. We are here for the official weigh-in for our big night of boxing taking place here on Friday night. And it's now time to weigh in the main event of the evening, the Estelar Combate de la Noche. As Mr. Eddie Hearn of Matchroom Boxing, in association with Canelo Promotions, Clase y Talento, y Greg Cohen Promotions, are proud to present 12 rounds of boxing for the WBA Light Flyweight Championship of the World. It's all being brought to you courtesy of Mr. Eddie Hearn, and it'll be live on the zone, sponsored by Bet Online Stage Front and JD Sports. So ladies and gentlemen, at this time, let's go ahead and welcome up to the stage, the challenger. His professional record, 14 wins, three defeats. He has two draws with 10 wins coming by way of knockout. Presentando el orgullo de Nazahualcoyol, Mexico. Here is the reigning WBA light flyweight champion of the world, Esteban Bermudez. Bermudez. And now making his way to the stage, please welcome the defending world champion. His professional record a perfect one. 15 fights, 15 victories, 10 of them coming by way of knockout. Friday night, he'll be making his fourth defense of his world title. Here is the two-division world champion known as the Osaka Ambassador, fighting out of Osaka, Japan. Here is the reigning, defending, and undefeated light flyweight champion of the world, Gosho Kai Shumas Mohokaino Sekai Oja Nani Rano Mad Boy Hiroto Kyo. Gucci, Kyogucci. Now to the scale, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Esteban Bermudez. Damas y caballeros, Marco Antonio Barrera, leyenda. One hundred and seven point eight pounds. One hundred and seven point eight pounds for Bermudez. He is the reigning and defending WBA regular light flyweight champion of the world. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the scale the WBA super light flyweight champion of the world, Hiroto Madboy Kyoguchi. 107.8 also, both of them scale at 107.8 pounds, 107.8 for Kyoguchi.
Space. 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 Kiyoguchi versus Bermudez. 12 rounds of boxing for the WBA Light Flyweight Championship of the World. Live on DAZN from Guadalajara, Mexico. Matchroom Boxing in association with Canelo Promotions, Clase Italento, and Greg Cohen Promotions. And we're here with the champ. Thank you for joining us. How difficult was it for you to make weight? I know this is business as usual, but you're still defending your championship. So talking about your opponent, Bermudas looks nice, tight, ready. And he's a challenger, he's hungry. What impression do you take after this weigh-in? He looked great, and he, he's really, um, he could feel that he's a great fighter. So he's very looking forward to the fight tomorrow. It's going to be a good fight. Last question, when we talk about legacies, he was flanked by Marco Antonio Barrera, who was also trained by a Japanese trainer for a long time. What does that bring to mind to you? という、あの、なお対戦相手なんですけど、それに関してはどう感じますかまあ、マルカントニアバレラはもう素晴らしいチャンピオンで、あの、子供の頃にナジーマハメドとの試合も見てたので、もうそういったメイチャンピオンの元
it's a great opportunity for his career, for sure. He, he doesn't know, you know, he just wants to show that he's back and that he's back with his team, his manager, his dad, his trainer. And he's happy because he, he knows he's going to show that tomorrow. And he has a daughter. Yes. And he has a daughter, yeah. And he's gonna, she's going to be in the public tomorrow. Felicidades, felicitaciones, congratulations, and the best of luck tomorrow. La mejor de la suerte mañana. Muchas gracias. Y esta pelea va para todo Guadalajara, para mi papá, mi mamá, mis hermanos, y en especial a, a mi esposa hermosa que la amo mucho y a mi hija. Y pues también en especial al sindicato ferrocarrilero. Gracias. And we're here with Karina La Bella Fernández. This is an outstanding moment. Your third, they say the third time is a charm. Your third time going for a title. How does it feel to be able to do this here in Mexico? Es un momento increíble para, para vos. Es tu tercera vez que, que peleas para el título. Dicen que la ter tercera vez es, es buena suerte. ¿Cómo te sientes en peleando aquí en frente de tu público en México? Eh, me siento muy contenta, estoy muy motivada, muy feliz. Eh, estoy bien agradecida con, con el presidente de, de mi ciudad, de, el, el gobierno que me ha apoyado tanto, también con mi empresa que me ha dado la oportunidad y el apoyo para estar ahorita en estos momentos aquí, Union Promotion y obviamente a todo mi equipo de trabajo también. She feels very happy, motivated, just incredibly grateful to be here, grateful to the president of her, her city and the government who are supporting her for the company and with the, with the promotional company. She's just very grateful to be here. When we look at your record and we see that you very faced the originals, like uh, Jackie Nava, how does that experience help you for this opportunity that you have tomorrow? Cuando ves a tu récord y a, a quien has peleado como una, una de las, unas de las mejores como Jackie Nava, um, ¿cómo te ayuda esa experiencia en esta pelea? Eh, Jackie Nava fue una oportunidad que igual se me presentó como en esta ocasión. Eh, nosotros somos peleadores de retos, creo que para ser el mejor tienes que enfrentarte con los mejores y Jackie Nava es una de las grandes exponentes del boxeo en México y en el mundo. Eh, una gran experiencia que adquirí con ella, confianza sobre todo, Entonces, pues estoy de decidida a dar un gran espectáculo, llevarme ese cinturón a mi casa. Eh, Ciudad Juárez está conmigo, yo sé que México también. Entonces, este, esta pelea va con dedicatoria especial a todo mi México. Guadalajara me han abierto los brazos con tanto cariño, también para ustedes. Y pues vamos a, a esperar ya nada más un, unas cuantas horas. The opportunity to fight against Jackie came somewhat like this. They're both fighting warriors, and to be the best, you have to go up against the best. Um, she's, you know, one of the biggest faces in boxing, Jackie now is, and it was a great experience and gave her great confidence. Um, and she just wants to put on a great show on Friday and bring home the belt. Um, Juarez and, and, and Mexico are with her. She wants to dedicate this fight to Mexico and to Guadalajara, who have really taken her in. And she just, there's only a few hours left until she gets to, to take those belts home. Well... Best of luck tomorrow. Thank you very much for your time. La mejor de las suertes. Gracias por tu tiempo. Muchísimas gracias. Jorge, you're coming in as a defending champion. You have that belt. How heavy is it right now? Um, I mean, it's not that heavy. I mean, I know what I got to do. I train hard. So, I mean, I'm very motivated to give a good fight to the fans. And like I said, I'm, I train really hard. So, there's no pressure at all. Well, he's hungry. He's looking for this opportunity to shine right before his people. You're carrying the championship. There's a lot of clout on that, but you are in enemy territory. How do you think the crowd is going to affect you? Oh, it's not going to affect me at all. I mean, that really doesn't concern me. I've gone all the way to the UK. They booed me. I mean, that doesn't really matter to me. That doesn't get to me. I know what my goal is, and that's to go out and fight and win. What is it going to take for you to fight and take that win? Oh, just got to fight smart, you know, land good punches and avoid getting hit. Is there any pressure to finish this fight before the last bell? Um, I mean, I'm just going to go out there and do my job. If the knockout comes, it comes, but I'm just going to, I'm just worried about winning. That's so there we go. <laughs> We're looking forward to that championship fight. Thank you very much for your time. Best of luck tomorrow. Thank you. Muchas gracias a todos. You can say a little bit more in Spanish. Bueno, quiero darle las gracias a toda la gente que me apoya. Uh, quiero invitar a la gente de Guadalajara que venga a esta gran noche de box. Va a haber este tres peleas de título, así que va a ser una gran noche y no se lo quieren perder. Thank you. Gracias a ti. Esteban Bermúdez, he's now the challenger for this championship, and we all know 
how hard hitting Japanese fighters are, and you're under the tutelage of Marco Antonio Barrera, who has an extensive history and obviously knowledge of what that means. How has he influenced your style? Todos sabemos lo duro y lo tradicional que es el boxeo japonés. Estás bajo el tutelaje de alguien como Marco Antonio Barrera, que conoce muy bien esa clase de boxeo. ¿Qué te ha enseñado Marco? No, me ha enseñado mucho, la verdad que está conmigo en mi carrera y todo, y me ha enseñado demasiado, que, lo cual le agradezco mucho y pues ahora sí que muchísimas gracias a, al campeón, al gran campeón. He's taught me a lot, he's got a lot of experience, he knows a lot, he has taught me a whole lot and I'm very grateful to have him in my corner, I'm very grateful for everything he's taught me. When we talk about um, a championship opportunity like this case, we need to understand the amount of flying hours that you have. How has that influenced your boxing and how do you think that's going to affect you in the ring? Cuando hablamos de una oportunidad para un campeonato, tenemos que hablar de las horas de vuelo, de las horas de experiencia. ¿Cómo ha influenciado tu experiencia en el boxeo y obviamente tu experiencia para esta oportunidad para el campeonato? No, pues ahora sí que es oportunidad que siempre luego se nos presenta y pues hay que aprovecharla, hay que aprovechar al, ahora sí que al 100 todas las oportunidades porque hay veces que que pues uno no tiene de otra más que aprovecharla y ahora que está la oportunidad de enfrente de nosotros hay que aprovecharla mucho. Well, this is an opportunity that doesn't come very often, so I have to take this opportunity and I'm going to make it count. And I've worked really hard for this opportunity. I'm going to be 100% in the ring to take this opportunity to the end. We also understand that with experience and championships and somebody like Marco Antonio Barrera in your corner comes a little bit of pressure. How does that work for you? Cuando estás hablando de la experiencia tuya, peleando aquí en México y con Marco en tu, en tu esquina, viene un poquito de presión. ¿Cómo funciona eso para ti? No, la verdad que es muy bueno. Es Ahora sí que los consejos que me da el campeón, ahora sí que wow, ¿no? Es, es algo de lujo que es para mí, algo bonito, algo, algo que pocos tenemos la dicha de, de tener esa oportunidad. No, pues, muy contento, muy feliz. It's, uh, it's almost like a wow moment to know that you have the champion right next to you with his advice and his knowledge. It's uh, something that I've worked and I feel very fortunate. It's a luxury that not everybody has, especially in an opportunity like this for a title. We wish you the best of luck. Thank you for your time. Te deseamos la mejor de las suertes. Gracias por tu tiempo. Muchas gracias. We're now with the champ, Mayelin Rivas, coming all the way from Venezuela and decided to finish her camp here in Guadalajara. Why did you decide to come here? El, estamos con la campeona de Venezuela, pero decidiste terminar tu campamento de entrenamiento acá, ¿por qué decidiste hacer eso? Eh, bueno, muchísimas gracias a todos por estar acá, esta oportunidad, y por supuesto, qué mejor manera de terminar mi campamento que con el señor Rigoberto Álvarez, que es una gran persona y aparte eh, eh, tiene su hermano, que es indiscutible, Canelo Álvarez, y él viene de allí, y qué mejor manera de este, y me siento muy bien. Hicimos un gran campamento, venimos entrenando muy bien, hicimos, esparreamos muy bien y de verdad eh, terminar mi campamento con él para mí fue maravilloso. First of all, thanks everybody for having me. Thank you for having me here and for giving me this opportunity. Um, I finished camp with, with Rigoberto Álvarez, who's a great person and obviously a great trainer. He has an undisputed brother, of course, as we know. And what a better way to end camp. You know, it went well, we had some great sparring, and it was just a perfect way to end my, my training camp. You're a two-time, two-division champion. What does somebody like Rigoberto Álvarez add to your plethora of weapons in, in your arsenal? Ya sos campeona en dos divisiones. ¿Qué trae Rigoberto que, que añade allá lo que tienes con tu talento que tienes en el ring? Eh, la verdad es que llegué al gimnasio, eh, nunca me quitó nada. Al contrario, siempre me agregó. Eh, y eso para mí está muy bien porque me hizo sentir como en casa, en confianza en mí misma. Me hizo recuperar un, un poco la confianza en el trabajo también y, y me ha venido ayudando mucho. Así que creo que tuvimos muy, hicimos buena conexión y, y la hemos venido a, a trabajando a, a través de los sparring también. Y sé que vamos a, a trabajar muy bien en, en, en el día de mañana en la pelea. 
you know, that she, she feels that she's been thriving at the gym um, and that he didn't really take anything away. He just kept adding things to what she knew and to our, her arsenal. And it was, felt great because she felt at home and she started to, you know, she was confident in herself and she kept gaining confidence in her work as well during the camp, which helped a lot. And she thinks they had a great connection and they will hopefully work great in the ring tomorrow as well. She thinks they will. Today is the last day you saw Karina, right before you walk into the ring. For us, one of the basic uh, differences would be the height. How would you work that for your benefit? Esta fue una, la, el último día que viste a Karina antes de que van a pelear. Uh, una de las diferencias que es más obvia es, es la altura que tienen. Eh, ¿Cómo vas a usar tu altura para una ventaja? No, bueno... Eh... Nunca me preparo para una rival, eh, lo he dicho muchas veces, siempre me preparo para cualquier rival eh, porque siempre pasan este tipo de cosas, que a último momento el rival se cae, tú, tenemos que cambiar de rival y, y yo trabajo a cualquier, a cualquier distancia, corta, larga, media, o sea, trabajamos eh, mucho en el gimnasio para cualquier distancia, nunca nos tra trabajamos para una distancia y soy buena en, en ambas, en todas. She doesn't necessarily prepare for an opponent. She never does. Um, anything can happen, and, and you know things like this happen where, where the opponent can change. She was supposed to have a different opponent, and now she's fighting Karina. Um, so she's working. She, she can really work in any distance, short distance, long distance, middle distance. Um, and she works hard for, for any opponent. She's working hard in the gym for any opponent, and she's good at any distance as well. Well, we're looking forward to an explosive fight, and best of luck. Thank you for your time. Estamos entusiasmados para una pelea muy buena con, con fuegos artificiales y, y, y buena suerte. Gracias. gracias. Gracias a ustedes por la invitación. Mashroom, Eddie Hell, gracias a mi manager Omar Andrés, a Rodrigo Berto, mi entrenador, y, y a Leona, mi sponsor oficial. Muchas gracias a ti. Gracias.